Bobby Otis at 131. Continue right now. Becker is a former hybrid champion himself. Uh, love to win that championship back. Interestingly enough, Otis and Turtle Biscuits out here. Usually they're always out here for uh, backyard. Maybe they didn't think this match was important enough. I mean, Otis is a member of the contendership match later. He's got to prepare, so I get that. Taylor had a lot of. Uh, Nice words to say about Aaron and CJ Price and his triple threat opponents at season's beating. So Aaron and CJ are not the type I don't know what type of Aaron is anymore, but CJ is not the type of person to take an insult laying down. Um, I expect repercussions from them. I, I, I don't know what to expect from Douglas though. That guy is he's fucking insane. I like to call him Space Cadet. Um, that, that match with Taylor and Bouncer changed him. And uh, did some permanent damage, I think. For sure, that's for sure. Iron split by Taylor made. Nice split right across the face. A backer goes down. Slow back guard! No cover. Bagger fights out of it, and he switches over into his own cover. Bagger does have a uh, lot of map wrestling experience. He's won eight championships in his day. Uh, two-time heavyweight, two-time supreme, two-time tag team, hybrid, and he won the, uh, the short-lived Tough Man Championship as well in 2005. So he, he could actually become the first ever Uncle Grand Slam champion. Nice elbow by Bagger. It's just amazing the rise and falls of people you've seen in WWE. Just, just two and a half years ago, or actually two years ago, Becker was a heavyweight champion. He was a two-time heavyweight champion. Now he is the property of Bobby Otis, and he does his dirty work. It's, it's just, that's one of the, the, the deepest falls I've seen. Nice sleeper hole. Becker has also been with WWE on the card since the very first show. Becker's Doing some dirty stuff right there. Choke him out. They are on the left here, literally and figuratively. He's on the ropes! He's on the ropes! He's on the ropes! Ruff is trying to flee the backyard. Could have started a count if you wanted. Oh. Playing dirty, playing dirty. I kind of got to expect that from both these guys. Ever since that 10th anniversary 130 show, uh, Taylor has uh, just been uh, very egotistical. I mean, hard to, hard to blame him. Fox slam, shot slam. Right back, very impressive on the big man, Taylor. You say, Aaron? Backer making sure his uh, straps are all set. Taylor getting up. Taylor getting up. Uh oh. Sleeper hold. Might, might try to drop him here. Taylor's wearing thin here. Let's, let's stay. Smart, smart. Hit him right into the trim buckle. Oh, damn. I've been teammates with both these guys. Backer and I were uh, part of the Southside players for 
seven years. Nice DDT. Taylor was in my uh, stable, the resurgence in 2013. Oh, on the rope, on the rope. That's the uh, where. That's the knowledge, the savvy, ring savvy of that. He knows where the ropes are at all times. He knows where he is in the ring at all times. And that's just something you can't teach. You have to be out there, and you have to. You just have to learn. You have to learn as you go. I mean, we're at 132 show here, folks, and uh, I think that Backyard has been wrestling with us since the very first show. It, it's amazing he can still even do it. You know, I can't wrestle anymore, not like I used to. And uh, see Backyard go out here fighting for titles and uh, doing a damn good job. Pretty impressive. Backyard did a great job at the uh, 10th anniversary. He was in the Legacy Battle Royal. It came down to him and Olin. He almost earned himself a, uh, a title contract, anything he wanted. But his longtime rival Brian Olin got the better of him. But huge suplex by backyard. Both men down here. Come on, guys, starting to count. Two. Come on, Double count out would work in the favor of Taylor because he was his belt. He's one of two belts. Remember, folks, only the hyper belt on the line here, not the supreme. Taylor's uh, next Supreme title matches at season's beating. Uh oh, might be going for that choke slam. Uh oh, he's trying to fight it, he's trying to fight it. Got him up for that F5. Oh, there goes Backyard. Aaron! It's crazy Aaron! Uh oh, uh oh. CJ's in the ring, CJ's in the ring! Oh! Taylor's down. That was a con job if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Bubble Rab Aaron came out here and uh, distracted the rap. He hit Taylor with the hit Taylor with the elbow right in the right in the face, right in the jaw. Backyard's coming. Backyard's coming. Here. Into a cover. And we got a new hybrid champion, folks. Backyard wins his ninth championship all time in WWE right there. You got to lose nobody, nobody's got as many title runs as Backyard. There's, there's his ninth. Second hybrid. Woo! Gotta imagine Bobby Edwards would be pretty proud of that. Impressive. Taylor does still have his high, Supreme Championship, but he is not going to be thrilled. He's going to be looking for some revenge on Aaron and CJ.